The history of our company dates back to uh, 1925, when my great-grandfather um, started producing ice cream in the house next door to the current premises. We had a nine-hole golf course called Stroud Golf Course, which was right in front of the premises, but also a lot of walkers, so the demand was, was pretty high. Um, that became quite successful quite quickly, so he got two World War I motorcycles, um, converted them with sidecars, uh, lined them with uh, dry ice, and then drove around with a handbell, around the Stroud Valleys, ringing the handbell, selling the ice cream. Uh, the recipe was a Victorian recipe which my great-grandmother obtained from Stroud. She sort of took a, a trip into the town, obtained a recipe, brought it back, tweaked it up, made it on the stove at home, and that is the recipe that we still follow to this day. When we start the production of ice cream, we start here in our pasteurizing plant. This is where we produce the raw liquid that will then turn up to be the finished product. So each one of these contains 500 liters of liquid. So we'll add in our, our milk, our sugar, our cream, and anything else that's associated to the flavor that we're gonna pasteurize at that point. So once we've heated it up and pasteurized it up to around 80 degrees, we'll hold it at that temperature for a few minutes. We'll then run it through our homogenizer, which is this piece of equipment here. This piece of equipment will almost beat the ice cream so that you get that smooth taste. Um, when you're producing uh, ice cream, you would have um, a certain amount of solids and a certain amount of liquids. This will make the solids in the product nice and smooth. Once it's been through the homogenizer, it runs through our heating plant here. Once we've heated it up and run it through all our pipe work here, we then run it through what we call a coolmation unit or a cooling unit, which are two plates. And that brings the temperature down from around 80 degrees down to four degrees. By law, we have one hour to do that. We do that here in about 15 to 20 minutes. We then run it through our pipework into one of our holding vessels, which would be one like we have just here. That's holding just under 500 liters of liquid. Here on site, we produce around 30 different flavors of ice cream. That does include a handful of dairy-free products as well. Our dairy-free ice cream has taken probably six months to develop a base mix that relates those properties of ice cream. Um, we use a plant-based thickener and a plant-based stabilizer, which give you that creamy, indulging, something that almost coats the roof of your mouth when you, when you try it. You're still indulging and you're still having the same experience as if you were having an ice cream. I think if we blind tasted one of our dairy-free products against one of our ice creams, I think it'd be difficult to depict the difference. We connect the pipework to the vessel. We then pump the liquid into the machine. It has a barrel that spins and it freezes at the same time. As it's freezing inside the barrel, it's then pushing the ice cream out through one of the pipes or nozzles. And you can see today we're making a rhubarb crumble ice cream so the pipework is connected to what we call a fruit feeder or a fruit dispenser. That can dispense any chocolate chips, any fruit, um, whatever the inclusion may be. The inclusion goes into the top of the hopper. It will then drop into the ice cream as it's running through the pipework. And you can see here, which we're making a rhubarb crumble, that's what's coming out of the nozzle. So, on this piece of machine, we can control how many liters it pushes out an hour, if we want to run a machine faster or slower, depending on the flavor that we're producing. Every flavor is hand-filled from one of these nozzles. So it's the start of our season at the moment. Um, we're looking forward to, to a busy season. Um, and we're really just going to keep developing some, some new stuff so you can keep coming back and trying something different all the time.